Hello. Today we're going to watch some of Mr. Luce's fifth graders subtract decimals, um, but they're going to use a, a concrete manipulative to do this. Um, they're going to use what I call place value disks on place value desks. Mr. Luce got creative and turned his classroom, his desks in his classroom, into place value charts using electrical tape. It's a great creative idea. So let's check out what subtracting decimals is like. The key idea to subtracting decimals is that we subtract them the exact same way we subtract whole numbers. When I subtract whole numbers, I always want to start with my lowest place value. So I always want to take from my ones. So we're going to look at 14 minus 7. And the idea is that if I have only four ones, I can't take 7 away from that. So I need to unbundle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this 10 and turn them into 10 ones. So now I have 10 ones and four ones. And what that allows me to do is now I can take seven away from 14 ones. So I'm going to do that real quick, and that leaves me with seven ones. I had to unbundle my 10 to make 10 ones. Well, this same idea really applies with decimals. I want to start with my lowest place value, which here is tenths. And the same idea applies. If I have four tenths, I can't take seven tenths away from that. So what do I need to do? I need to unbundle from the ones place and turn that into ten tenths and four tenths. And really the idea is that I'm going to take from that ten, which leaves me with three, but I still have my other four tenths left, which makes seven tenths. And that's really the idea behind this. I could have easily gone back over here and changed this into words, right? 14 tenths minus 7 tenths makes 7 tenths. Let's take a break and watch one of Mr. Luce's fifth graders do this with their manipulatives. Go ahead. Okay. As I'm looking at desks, guys, yes, the code is exactly correct. If you still have that white chip, that one, number one, still in that tenth place, and you pull that out now, so that's proving that you replaced it. What did we replace it? So again, the idea with subtraction is that you need to, if you're going to use a manipulative or you're going to use a visual, that you need to start with your whole, what you're going to take away from. So this student starts with one and four tenths. And what they had to do was they made a trade. They traded out this one to make ten tenths and then took seven tenths away. Now the same idea applies as we change our numbers and add different place values. Uh, what we want to do in a drawing is the same idea. We always want to make our big number first. So uh, 91 minus 49, I'm sorry, 91 and 49 hundredths minus 7 tenths. And what we really need to do is make sure we take from like place values. So here, I want to start with my lowest place value, my hundredths column. Well, since I don't have any hundredths to take away, I can just carry down my nine hundredths. Now I need to go to my tenths, and this is where we're going to run into our problem. I only have four tenths, and I need to take seven away. So what do I need to do? I need to unbundle my one one. So I'm going to take this one one, leaving zero ones, and now what happens is I end up with 14 tenths, and that's what we're looking at right there. And now this is going to allow me to take seven tenths away. So I'm going to take away five and two more, and that leaves me with seven tenths remaining. I have zero ones left, but I'm not taking any away from there. And I still have nine tens left, I'm not taking any from there. So it's the same idea as working with whole numbers. I can only take away from like place values, and I need, need, and I need to unbundle and borrow. Likewise, if we want to subtract from every place value, the same idea occurs. So I want to start in my hundredths place. If I have three hundredths and I take one away, that leaves me with two hundredths. I go to my tenths place and I run into that same problem. I only have four tenths 
and I can't take five away from them, so I need to unbundle from the ones. I'm gonna take one of my ones, which they do right there in their picture, and that turns into 10 tenths. So now I have 14 tenths, that's what we're looking at right there. And they wanna take five tenths away from that. That's what that student's doing right there. So there's nine tenths remaining. Now I'm gonna to go to my ones column. Now there's only six ones left. They take three away, so there must be three ones left. And when they go to their tens column, they have eight tens, they wanna take one away. That makes seven left. Very nicely done using language like regrouping and subtraction as appropriate. Hopefully you learned something from Mr. Luce's fifth graders. Have a great day.